in a long-awaited sequel of a favorite mercenary with a sharp tongue, but did it hold up to the first part? Did it have the same magic as the first movie delivered? Hit it! That pool is back, yo! <laughs> the story of Deadpool 2 basically is just like Terminator. Terminator 1 or Terminator 2 or Terminator 3 or every Terminator. Cable is a character from the future and he tries to come to the past, to our time, because his wife and his child just died and he wants to go back in time to find the person who is responsible for that tragedy. So Cable really fast finds the person he's tracking but somehow in the way is also Deadpool and it doesn't make Cable's job easy. Ooh. Yeah. Your bullets. They're really fast. First of all, Cable Wow, amazing. If you remember the teaser where Ryan Reynolds or Deadpool makes fun of, of the animation that was on purpose because um, he catches his bullets with his arm, but in the actual movie, you see he's reflecting a shield so he can hold the bullet just like in Halo. And it's it's more CGI effects, more fantastic, more futuristic. So that was a cool, on purposely bad making trailer. And how's Ryan Reynolds' performance? Well, he's amazing as Deadpool. He's his role benefits so much for the two movies. Ryan Reynolds is perfect as Deadpool and he makes fun of everybody. No one is safe, not even DC, not even superheroes, not even Thanos himself, not even everything. He makes fun of everything. And of course all the narration he does or the fourth wall breaking scenes, there wasn't so much at all as everybody says. I thought there was a fewer fourth wall breaking scenes as the first part. Or maybe I... <laughs> didn't notice it so I was amazed by the action. Speaking of action, the action is more it's it's multiplied this time than in the first part. And it's more action because this time Deadpool also has some new members. So they can create the X Force. Whoa. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. The Vanisher, we have Domino, we have Zeitgeist <laughs> and Peter. Peter. Any power you want to tell us about? I don't, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. Ah, that's amazing. Especially the Vedisha. All the jokes with Vedisha was pure gold. The most beautiful running gag in all the movie was when Megasonic introduced to Deadpool her girlfriend. Is he always winks at Deadpool and says, Hi, Deadpool. <laughs> and Deadpool always responds with, Hi, Yukio. Oh. Bye, Yu -Gi -Oh! <laughs> and even in the end credits scene when you again see Yukio he says uh, I have to go catching bad guys or always save the day as Deadpool says and he goes off the frame and Yukio just say bye wait and he just peeks at the wall bye Yu -Gi -Oh! <laughs> Speaking of end credits I don't want to ruin and spoil nothing but these are the best ever End credit scenes I saw. Forget about I do myself or or Darkwing Duck. Not Darkwing. How are the duck in Guardians? No. All these comparison to those end scenes or every end scene I ever saw in my whole career as a movie watcher. Amazing. Amazing. Nothing can beat them. Still, maybe that would. I don't know. And the opening credits also amazing with all these titles as. Directed by some of the guys who kills the dog of John Wick and all that and <laughs> There is also a Celine Dion song especially written for this movie all the cameos especially the one cameo in the in the X-Men base <laughs> Holy fuck that was brilliant and all these references and yeah my two favorite easter eggs of all was the first confrontation of Cable with Deadpool when Cable says who are you? And Deadpool responds with a bad bad. <laughs> and the second Easter egg again, I, I love this movie was when he goes to the HQ of of the X Men and Colossus is uh, on the, on his room in bed and laying in his bed and Wade comes with his little with a little cell phone 
and I would sit up just like and say anything with at uh, John Cusack does it. That was amazing. So in the end, yeah, Deadpool 2, it's a great success. It it has more action than the first part. Maybe uh I don't know, maybe the magic is a little lost because we already know Deadpool and the Deadpool 1 experience was such a fresh of breath air. I, I still like this one. Both movies amazing. Go check it out. And for my surprise, Deadpool 2 is really, really emotional. It has some scenes where uh, there goes a tear. Mm -hmm. But but this is that was the biggest Yeah, after after the tears of Infinity War, now we have again tears with Deadpool 2. So maybe I don't know. Maybe Ant-Man also will be dramatic. I don't know. I doubt it that Ant-Man will be dramatic for this world. It's about ants, so mm, really a movie. Awesome time. And yeah. Jimmy Zangas. Woo! So that was my review to Deadpool 2. Thank you all for watching and bye Yukio.